What we're actually doing is we're increasing comfort, decreasing operating costs. Isn't that what we do in every job? Yes, sir. All right, what's going on here, Hector? What are we doing? Right. Cleaning up the units? Cleaning up the units, cleaning up the tags. All right. Nice and clean. Nice. So you guys just finished um, putting these units in. What'd you do? We, uh, we they're ready. The pressure test, they've been holding about two days. We got each one of them on 450 PSIs. And uh, why are we pressure testing them? For leak. Any Just to make, make sure, sure what? Make sure that there's no leaks in the pipes. All right. Before we open up on the valves. Yep. And let, let it go. And we do that as one of the first things because we got a lot of work still here left, right? Yes, so we got plenty of time yes. to test them. Exactly. Um, so I got them holding for two days to make sure there's no leaks. Now the original units were up on the roof. Why are these units here? Well, we're replacing the three units down in the, the basement. So the easiest way, because there's no way we're going to be able to get to the roof. There's no... Because the old piping is the bad. The old piping is bad. Everything was wrong when the unit, I guess, when the apartment wasn't completed. Yeah. So, so we decided to go come to the basement. Come out of this side of the, the basement. All right, so that brown line hide is the new refrigeration pipe run. Yes. You guys did a very nice job here. It looks nice and neat. The customer is going to put mulch down there. These units are super quiet, but they're also what? They're not just air conditioning systems, right? They're heat pumps. The heat pumps. Yeah, heat pumps. Awesome. They they they, they want to use it as a air condition as a heat air conditioning source, not heat. But we are also going to connect it. And get yeah, they're going to use the heat pumps as a as a backup. As a backup, yeah. Yeah. Not radiating heat. Not a bad idea, always. All right, so we had a whole bunch of Unico systems in this existing home. It was pretty new. Actually, the company that installed it um, installed it only a couple of years ago, but it never worked right. Never, never did. Yeah, and the reason is, there's a couple reasons. Number one, they didn't size them right. They were tremendously undersized. Number two, they broke a lot of rules, and a lot of rules about high-velocity systems. So what we're doing here is installing all new systems, um, and all new systems are, number one, they have new refrigerant piping like you talked about, right? Yes. Going to the outside for new condensers that are sized differently. And now we have to rerun a lot of this duct work because it needs more. <laughs> you need more duct work. More duct work, more airflow, better airflow to the room. And we need more of those diffusers as well, right? Yes. Most of those high, uh, high velocity diffusers. Yeah, we're gonna cut a couple, a couple on the floor, maybe some here in the basement, on the ceiling. Some of these rooms also gonna get. So ones. what we're doing is we're tapping some existing uh, ducts that were already in place, but we also we also have to run a whole bunch of new ones. We increase the pipe from six inch to nine inch. Right. So yeah, piping was sized wrong. The ductwork was sized wrong. Um, so this is still all in progress, uh, but we're gonna make it right. Seems. All right, Angel, what are we doing here? You're insulating? Uh, yes, sir, I'm insulating the pipe. I already uh, taped off all the seams after I made all the connections. Now I'm gonna just make sure it's insulated really well so we don't get no condensation. All right, so that's the supply duct work. You have to insulate it, of course, because you'll get condensation. Very good. So opening anything on the floors. We've got ceilings opened here where we ran new piping, ran some new duct work, and all those high velocity flexes well, we didn't have enough of them, so we have to run more, but we have, what do we got upstairs? We got upstairs, uh, the third, second floor, we got the kitchen, which is, is gonna need a couple of more heads on the, on the floor. But what's the problem with us the putting those? The problem is we got radiant heat on the floor, so ah. we're really careful where we make the openings. Yeah, that's, a, that's the tough part. So this is, this is surgery, as you guys can see. We have certain spots open, uh, we're protecting, the entire place but we're making it happen because again original contractor just didn't do the proper job what do we got here like over here you see this this flex right here yeah this flex is part of the basement system but the main ductwork for this main system basement system is all the way on this side of the room so we're talking about maybe 20 30 feet of flex or more so, so i think that's that's so it's a little bit way too long that's for the design long. of this entire system. Didn't really compensate for it correctly. There's fuelers here that are the same going from the right. basement 
to the kitchen, all the way up to the ceiling, also to the dining yeah. room and the living room area. Yeah, so what this teaches us is that high velocity systems have rules and they're not very forgiving when you break those rules. All right, so these five condensers are going up all the way to the roof. All the way to the roof from this. Uh... Yeah. <coughs> now, all these return plenum boxes, why are they here? All these return plenum boxes belong to the four units that we're going to install on the attic, attic yeah. which is that's going to be for the third floor, for our second floor, and third floor units. Now, the reason we're redoing the returns is because we're lacking a return. Uh -oh. We're lacking a lot. That was the primary issue with some of these systems is that they did not have enough return and we're increasing return yeah. air everywhere here. Yeah, we, we make it and we add extra return. Like for example, you see one there. Yep. That's going to be a... That's a nice hole. We're trying, we're, going, we're trying to get return from the lower floor back to this unit. So that unit belongs to the to the second floor unit. Oh yeah. So I'm just admiring the uh, the nice hole the guys cut, nice and perfect. This system that comes here. More return. We had it here was a two. Way uh, undersized. Way. Way undersized. Yeah, yeah. Undersized. So a lot of a lot of rules, airflow rules broken in this inst installation. That's the reason customers spending money with us. Yeah. So what are you doing there, Alex? Well, here I'm preparing the return boxes. And uh, the gap is pretty pretty tight, so I need to bend one of the flange, one of the, one, the flanges on one of the sides, and just fit it in there. Yeah, and we're adding more return again because the existing system, the well, problem was it wasn't sufficient enough. It wasn't uh, working properly, and there were complaints about the uh, the temperature that was uh, being achieved in each room. Yep. that wasn't sufficient. Or really wasn't achieved. Yep, that's uh, that's right. There. <laughs> All right. This is where the action's at. All right. We got some air handlers hung. ERV. So we could fit probably five or six more guys up in this uh, attic, probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> At least it's not a super hot day. Them all. all right, so here. nice rack for two air handlers, and uh, same problem everywhere at this place not enough return, not enough supply, not enough high velocity supply flexes. Yes, this one of the offices, we're going to increase this pipe at least five, six feet. We're going to do the same thing with the master, increase it because uh, it's six inch. We're going to go over, so it's like, the wrong nine, size, wrong size supply. Yeah. Project. Yeah. The same thing with the, with the returns, as you see, bigger returns, a little bit more. Uh, and supporting all this ductwork better. All the duct work, yes. Yeah. We got, we got a lot of uh, odds and ends. Odds and ends. <laughs> That's what finish. I call them. The toughest part of the job, odds and ends. Yeah, the odds and ends. 